Hello internet, so welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be basically showing you how to clone your hard drive. Now you can use any hard drive for this. Why might you want to do this? So let's say you've got a HDD and you want to transfer everything over to a uh, SSD, maybe on a laptop, and you just want the whole storage device cloned onto an SSD. Now if this is a regular uh, Windows PC, I'd always recommend just reinstall Windows and re-download all your applications. But sometimes you may actually need to uh, clone the hard drive. So let's go ahead. We've downloaded the Macrium uh, Reflect. So this is free software for home users. And as you can see here, I've actually disconnected most of my hard drive. So we have our C drive. So this is the drive that we want to clone. This is what we have our operating system on. Then we have our bulk storage device. So this is just our six terabyte hard disk. Coming down, we've got another M.2 SSD here. Again, that's got nothing on it. And then finally, we've got the last disk here, which is our blank. Uh, this is a new SSD and this is a 500 gig SSD. So we can see here that our total size is 447 gigabytes. Now this is our new drive, the one we want to clone our original disk onto. So coming up here we can see that our original drive has 465 gigabytes of storage. So ideally our new uh, storage uh, device, so our new um, hard drive or new SSD has to be larger than your original drive that you are cloning uh, from. So click this and we want to clone the disk. So click that. We need to select the disk we want to clone to, which in this case is disk four. So we have that plugged in at the moment via USB on a, an external adapter. So we click that one. Next. The last partition will be shrunk to fit. So what they'll do is it will shrink some of the available storage that's on the uh, the original C drive. Now what you want to make sure is if that C drive is full and you don't have any space, then obviously this is not going to work. So you're going to have to free up a little bit of that space. Or just make sure that your new drive is a larger uh, capacity than your, your old drive. So we click next. And we can see here, double check. So we have our clone, uh, we have our clone summary here. So just double check that is correct. Now make sure you are cloning the correct drives because you may accidentally wipe a hard drive. Or, uh, so that's why I recommend disconnecting any drives that you might have already uh, connected to your PC that you do not want to touch to have maybe important information on. So click finish. So we can run a backup and we can save a backup. So let's just save this onto uh, my C drive. Okay. And here we go. So start cloning. So we wait for this to, uh, to finish and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so I am back. Right, so this took 31 minutes to uh, clone. Now that is going from an SSD to an SSD. So if you're going from a hard disk like in a laptop and then cloning it to a SSD, that time might go slower because obviously it's uh, copying the files from a slower disk. So we've now completed the clone. We click OK. We can now close this down and that is pretty much all we need to do. OK, so to see if that's gone through correctly, we can load up uh, this PC. We can see here we got our original C drive and then we've got our clone copy here on our uh, local disk D. So they are obviously the same size. And if we click into this one, we can see we have all our files. So thanks for watching my video. Uh, I just thought I would add in at the end a good reason why you would actually want to do this method. So here we've got an old, this is an old laptop running a hard disk. Now, uh, say if you were to upgrade this to an SSD, which is a good way of improving, you know, an old laptop without throwing it in the bin. Sometimes with these devices, you have um, software and drivers that are sort of hard to get the drivers for from the manufacturer. So if you can just clone the hard drive, plug in your SSD and you should be good to go. So that's a good tip there. So we now have our cloned drive. This is 
obviously cloned our C drive from our main rig. Now this can be used as a backup or we can actually boot this in another computer if you need to. So thanks for watching and goodbye.